Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here and it's time to do a product review. That's right, as seen on TV, T-Fell OptiGrill. Uh, we're gonna do a real simple test. I'm gonna put a bunch of steaks on this bad boy. We're gonna see if it cooks it to the settings that I set it at and we'll cut the steaks open and I'll let you guys be the judge. Also, I got some fish. We'll throw some fish on here and see what happens. And who knows, maybe I'll find something else to grill in here too. So come on in close. Let me show you the settings on this machine here. This machine costs $179 and it's available in a lot of places. So you can look online or you can go to the stores and get it. But it's the T-Fal Opti Grill, come on in close. Okay, so this has an automatic sensor cooking system. Basically, it can tell how thick your, your uh, steak is, let's say, or your chicken breast or the fish, it, it knows. And then when you set the time and temp, uh, I'll show you how that works too. Here's the on off button. This is in case you're cooking straight from frozen, if you're doing frozen foods. Then you have your automatic settings, and this is, that's for uh, burgers, poultry, sandwiches, like if you're making paninis, sausage and pork, there's red meat, and there's fish and seafood. And then the manual button, that's in case you just want to set the temperature yourself and take care of yourself. And then this circle right here is the coolest part because that white section right there that you can, you can't see the color right now, but I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna put a steak on there, and then as, as it'll start up blue, and then it'll change colors. It'll beep when it's rare, it'll beep when it's medium, it'll beep when it's well done, and it's totally cool. So the color will change, and you'll stop at whatever color you want your steak, okay? Let's bring the meat over and take a look. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is turn it on. There you go. Now the next thing, I'm gonna do steak, so I'm gonna pick red meat, and then I'm gonna hit okay, and it's going to preheat. Okay, so it just beeped, and the color right here is purple. I can't tell on the camera if you guys are seeing the correct colors, I hope you are, because it's really important. This is all about color. So that's purple, which means that it is preheated, so now I'm gonna open it, put the steaks on, and then I'm gonna close it, and it should start turning colors. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is rare. So I'm gonna go to yellow. Open it up. Lay it in there. Wow. A little bit of seasoning. I'm gonna close it. And I guess that's it, right? Doesn't feel like it locks down. They didn't say to lock it down. So I've got it closed right now. And it already smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, while it's uh, cooking, I wanna mention the strip tray. Look, it all collects right here. It slides right out and I can clean it easily. So I'll clean that after I'm done with three steaks. All right, well, it's flashing green. I'm not sure what that means, but it's starting to lighten a little bit. It's approaching yellow. Okay, that's yellow right there. There we go, take it off. Put it off on the cutting board over here. Okay, that took just minutes, so let's cut right in the middle of it and take a look. And that doesn't look really cooked in the middle. I would probably, I mean, that's rare. You know what, that is rare. Let's pop that right there and take a look. All right, that's rare. You can see the perimeter here is partially cooked. This is, at, is a warm temperature. If you like rare, that's probably how you're gonna want it. Boom, boom, just the outside cook. So there's. There's a shot of, of rare. This thing's so smart, it knew there was no food on there, so it turned itself off, so I'm preheating it again. Okay, time to open it. We're gonna take it all the way to medium. And there we go. Okay, while it's cooking, I turned off some of my studio lighting 
to see if I could show you guys a better look at, at the colors and as it's changing. Right now it's at green. All right, it is officially at rare. We're gonna let it go. And then it will beep again at medium when it's at orange. Okay, orange it is. Let's open it up. We should be at medium right now. So let's grab that steak. Going straight across. And that, that my friends is, is almost absolutely perfect. There's a little spot of red just right there. But everything else is perfectly medium. I mean, a person who orders medium would be very happy with that. Oh, stop beeping at me. Stop it. Oh, that means it's telling me it's turning off. So there's your medium. It's time to put another steak on and we're gonna do a well done one. And then we'll move on to fish after that. So far, so good. Okay, it's preheated. Let's get the steak on. And we are taking this one all the way to red. All right. It's, it's reached well done. Oh, still looks beautiful, doesn't it? All right, let's take that off right now. Okay, here we go. Cut right across. And there's your well done. Right there. That's good. We're good on that. That is definitely well done. Nice. Well, there you go. It's your uh, steak test right there. And as you can see, you've got the rare on the left. You've got medium in the middle and you've got well done on the right. Uh, I think it did flawless. I think it did an amazing job. All right, let's go to fish next. For testing purposes, they say to put oil or nonstick on here for fish. I'm gonna spray up here too. There we go. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna choose fish. I have no idea when it's done. I don't even know how it tells me. So this could be an experiment. I have like three pieces of tilapia. So if I screw up, I'll show you and then we'll try it again. It just beeped, it's preheated. I have no idea how this works. So I'm opening it. I have a nice piece of fish right here. I'm setting it down. And as soon as it beeps, I'm taking it off. Okay, well, it just beeped. I don't know if that, yeah, it's beeping. I'm taking it off. If this, it just beat, it took like no time. If this comes out perfect, I'm going to be blown away. It is perfect. Look at it. Look at it. It's flaky. It's cooked all the way through. Look at that. This thing is unbelievable. I'm going to cry. All right, I'm not really going to cry, but I'm going to try this. I haven't been this excited about a product review since the Ninja Pulse Blender. That's right. This is amazing. Did everything flawless. I'm going to make burgers for Super Bowl. We're doing Juicy Lucy's. I'm going to make paninis, grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm going for it. I'm doing some country ham on this thing. This is even good for uh, college dorm rooms. It puts off very little smoke. I mean, there was like no smoke at all or my smoke detectors would have went off. This is, this is rocks. So if you can afford it, get yourself one, put this on your Christmas list. I'm gonna try this flawless fish. I hate cooking fish. This just removed my fear. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.